in your team of the motorcade. If you know, you know. Being great and wishes like a genie to bed in two piece bikinis. I've been hiding. Hello again, everybody. It is the coach. You're tuned in to Madden 19 on EA Sports. Coming up, we'll see the New York Jets behind 39 year old quarterback Josh McCown. They match up with Tom Brady in the New England Patriots. With that, let's head on up to Foxborough. Standing by with the call at Gillette Stadium, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. All the success in New England over the last few decades, and this crowd has never been more enthusiastic. A moment ago, the Pats emerged from their locker room. They are set as they'll square off with the New York Jets. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And Charles, we look at this Patriots team entering play. It's late in the year. We all know it. We've seen the calendar for these guys. Their bodies could probably use a break, but they have to push on. And they're really not as worried about that as maybe we think. They know they've got the entire offseason to rest. All they care about is the game in front of them and finishing strong. Meanwhile, for the visiting Jets, they come in off the very rare tie a game ago. And it'll be interesting to see what their mindset is going into this game. Sometimes that can be a deflator, and sometimes that can just really make you mad and more determined the next time out. Here we go. The final week of the NFL season. Week 17 is underway. And it's a short kick taken right around the 19. And they'll be set up pretty nicely here as they have it up to the 35-yard line. On first and 10, here's McCown. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. And the big boys up front in the trenches. What do you think of the O-line, Charles? I love them because this is a group that's so cohesive. They know what the man next to them is going to do at all times, and they operate as a terrific unit. McCown incomplete on first down. Here's second and ten. Back to the air on second down. McCown. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. And, partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. Found his target. It's Anderson. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. First time these two have hooked up this afternoon, and it's a first down. That throw's not going to get them a whole lot, but that really didn't matter, did it? They got what they needed on that throw. Picked up the first down, and I'm going cliche here. Game of inches, partner. Absolutely. And you talked to me a lot about opening drives, how key those are to set the tone. You kept the drive alive. Third down conversion here is big. The numbers for him from a week ago. Ten catches for an even 100 yards. And he was able to get open there, but that's not always easy against this bunch defensively. We are deep enough into the season where numbers count. This is number one rated defense in the NFL. He'll have a tough time. Now a run. This is Bilal Powell. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. They control the clock, they control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Meanwhile, McCown's pass nearly intercepted as it winds up falling incomplete. Now Edwards to kick as he sends it away. So now the Patriots getting set to take over on offense. Bringing them out is, of course, one of the most iconic QBs in NFL history, five-time Super Bowl champion Tom Brady. 
And it felt like in watching the game tape, he got everyone involved last week. He know? was a manager. He really was. That's a great way to put it because they ran the ball some, they threw it accurately. One touchdown pass, so he didn't you know, break the bank doing that, but he didn't throw any interceptions. That's the bottom line. That's why a defense loves a quarterback like that. Doesn't put them in bad situations. And let's give you a look here at the New England offense. Hey, I'm looking outside of Julian Edelman right now because he's back after injury in 2017. How about his 2016 season? 98 catches, over 1,100 yards. But how does he get that done? Works out of the slot a lot, plays with a lot of fire, a lot of fury, and a lot of intelligence. Understands how to run routes, set people up, and finishes it off with big catches. Here's Brady. Got a man complete. It's Chris Hogan. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Now a play fake here on first down. And now a fumble. Brady loses the football. And it's scooped up by the Jets. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. He let one slip away last week as well. So now two fumbles lost in as many weeks. Well, we were out at practice, and we watched him work. And what did his quarterback coach talk about all week? Being a two-hand monster. And we looked at each other. Two-hand Oh, I get it. Two-hand monster. Both hands on the football. Taking care of it. Putting it away so the ball doesn't get dropped. McCown going to hand this one off to Powell. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there. Second down. A right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers putting up their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, he tried. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing... Not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. In danger of squandering their great field position as they come up on a third and seven. Shotgun here for McCown. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with the football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight. With Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon with you. It's the Jets in possession as we begin quarter number two here. And they'll come up looking to keep this drive moving. Faking the give to Powell, now McCown. And he can't corral it. Maybe a big missed opportunity there defensively in the end zone. And now third down. I know every offense wants to start their snaps closer to the goal line. But it's actually harder to throw the ball in those situations. You throw into that tight coverage, you see what happens. Hard to get the ball in there. Not enough space there. Lucky maybe that it was. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Deron Harmon. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Brandon, this is why golfers do their best to never count a score in their head before the ball goes in the cup. This looked like a slam dunk for points on this drive, didn't it? Instead, they throw an interception, and they're going to come away empty. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. And a fumble last time. Ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this drive. 
Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about, what, the second sentence of the yeah. coach's address? And those are so many drills focus on that. All the time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations. Doesn't always work out, though. And he's got Decker, left side. And he's brought down after a good game. 23 yards on the play. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. They go play action for White. Now it's Brady. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. That one goes for 24 yards. Now they, they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Brady now on first down. He's got it to James White. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. A good pickup of six there on first down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Now Brady gets away with one. Lucky could have been intercepted, but it falls to the ground. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. Letting one go deep for the end zone. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Dwayne Allen with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Pats able to cash in for six. And nowadays in NFL football, you have to account for all the receivers, sure, but the tight end's such a weapon, and they prove it right there. Oh, without a doubt. And we're seeing now the golden age of tight ends catching the football. I go back to Kellen Winslow. Uh -huh. To me, he was a prototype of what we're seeing today. We're seeing it each and every week now. Now Steven Goskowski on for the extra point. Goskowski the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. So the drive there, five plays, 80 yards, and it's finished off by a pass touchdown. Goskowski now out to kick it away. Argarius Stewart now on the return. Then he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. Here's the Jet offense now. They head out to take over. The partner just looking at some of the struggles they've had this season. The playoffs are not in their future. As they start to peer toward the offseason. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off near the 34. And he will not get all the way home, but he will take this back down to about the two-yard line. He had his eyes on the end zone. He got close. At least he set the offense up nicely, but he's probably mad he didn't take that one to pay dirt. I agree with you, and you know he's going to get teased because he didn't get it all the way into the end zone. But if they don't score now, if they don't get a touchdown, he won't just get teased. And he will score! Touchdown, Patriots! Tom Brady with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Patriots add six to their lead. And that's exactly what you're supposed to do with good field position. You make the other side pay when you don't have far to go for the score. Goskowski for the point after. A 
Kowski with the extra point. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. A nice tidy little drive there, getting the ball in excellent field position and only one play to score it. Koski now out to kick it away. This is taken at his four. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Luke McCown and the offense heading out for their next possession. He and his team, they have had a rough go of it here in this first half. Maybe time for him to put his foot down here in the second quarter. Put his foot down and become a little more accurate throwing the football. He's already thrown two interceptions. He's trying to find a way to equal things out. And instead of it going to the opponents, get it to his own receivers and find the end zone. Yeah, you mentioned those two picks. No touchdown passes yet either. And a decent game there as that takes us to the two-minute warning. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Back to Foxborough after this. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. And he hits Jermaine Kurz. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. And now for him on the season, that is his 80th catch, and the result is a first down. McCown going to throw. Oh, that was dangerous. Throw it into coverage, almost picked, but instead they'll keep it on second down. McCown incomplete on first down. Here's second and ten. From midfield, here's McCown. And his pass incomplete. Deron Harmon right there on the coverage. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. The Jets on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and ten. McCown looks to throw again. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. A call and luck or skill, whatever the case is, they're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill, but the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground. Whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you maintain possession, that's all you're looking for. Here's Lachlan Edwards now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. This is taken around the 12. 21 yards, well done on the return. And the Patriots take over. They've gone to the second quarter in Buffalo. The Bills have taken an early lead against the Dolphins. I have a feeling that one's going to stay tight throughout. We'll continue to monitor. Brady now on first down. Flush to his right. On the run, he'll let this. And that's caught inside the 35. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A gain of 39 that time. On first and 10, here's Brady. Throw left side complete. That's Decker. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. Down. 
So we've come upon halftime here in week 17. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thank you as always. Welcome into our final regular season edition of our Halftime Report. Playoff lives hanging in the balance as we take you around the NFL one final time. We'll begin in Orchard Park, an AFC East matchup between Miami and Buffalo. And it's the Bills with the lead in the second quarter. LaShawn McCoy, the lone touchdown there as he's cashed one in on the ground. From there, we'll head to Washington. Check out the Redskins at home at FedEx Field. And they currently trail the visiting Philadelphia Eagles. Mike Wallace, two touchdown catches on the afternoon. Finally, let's get you to Baltimore. Check on the Ravens at home at M&T Bank Stadium. And for the moment, they trail the visiting Browns in that one. A touchdown pass there for the rookie, Baker Mayfield. In the game you're watching, it's who else? Tom Brady with a strong first half. His guys lead the AFC champs as we get you back to Foxborough, where we rejoin Brandon God. All right, coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The final two quarters of the NFL regular season are upon us as the second half of Week 17 is underway. Now it's Patterson. A beautiful fake. And now running right through it. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. And now out come the Patriots. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team. But their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? From midfield, here's Brady. Allen has it, left side. And he's brought down. down Brady and he was hit as he threw it there and it forces it incomplete that one doesn't find its target but all in all he's been much sharper this week he was under 50 percent a week ago and now he's up over 70 percent well you know it's standard for quarterbacks and receivers get together for a little extra time each and every day in practice I get the sense they got together for a lot of extra time this week to try and improve that passing percentage, and it's worked out quite well. Now Brady. He completes it right side to White. And they do get him down, but not before he reaches the four-yard line. And now White. Not sure exactly what happened, but he's still down. And in week 17, let's hope this won't affect him for the playoffs. We'll step aside. exact same thing in every situation but I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast game you know second half no matter what well this first five minutes first three whatever this was a big score to start the second half extra point try for Goskowski <laughs> and he 
Extra point good by Gaskowski. And it's now 21 to nothing. Five plays there on that drive. And it ends with a New England touchdown. Koski now out to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. So here's the Jets offense now as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game, a chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, half? Most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10, kind of a starter or an opener, whatever they, whatever terminology they use, to something to get you off to a quick start. Here's McCown to throw. The safety, Patrick Chung, got a hand in, knocked it away. Well, he leads the NFL in interceptions and nearly added to that total. Got his hand on it, couldn't quite corral it. It's been a Pro Bowl-type season for him, and the term ball hawk really comes into play, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I like that one a lot because teams want to avoid that type of a player, but sometimes you just can't. He just knows where the ball is. McCown will try again on second down. Looking middle. It's incomplete. He was looking for Quincy Anunwa that time. Third down here. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. The Jets on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and ten. Working from the gun, McCown. That's caught right side by Anderson. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. Brandon, that play typifies what we've seen from the offense all day long. They've had no success getting things going. I think for the offensive coordinator, he's got to go to that side of the play sheet that says try something different. Try some specials, something they haven't seen all day to try and get this offense kick-started. Delay of game, offense. McCown to throw on second down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. And the stats that matter on this play don't help a team very much, unless, of course, you're playing defense. If you're getting points per reception, you got a reception, but yeah. no yardage. Great job by the defense, though. They, they read through that one. They read through it, gave up no yardage. And he goes down. It's a Patriots sack. Dante Hightower in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. Looks like another empty possession here, partner. And I don't think with three scores down in the third quarter, they can truly afford any more the rest of the way. No, especially the way their offense is sputtering. I, I think you're exactly right. They got to find some answers quickly. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. Tom Brady leads the offense out for their next possession. 
He has been consistent, hasn't he? He played well in the first quarter, good second quarter, and now continuing that here in the third. And that's the word that they're always seeking from the guy taking the snaps, is consistency. Taking care of the ball, making sure it gets to the right people, no errors, right? Not turning it over, and just doing all the right things. That's leadership, and it inspires confidence in a team. Yeah, been a good leadership and a good distributor. I remember a coach telling me a long time ago the difference between playing corner and safety in the NFL. Corner is like the Autobahn. Everybody just flying by, and these corners have been really busy in this game, although they got it done on the last play. On the last play, yes, but there have been some good numbers put up against him offensively. Across the formation, he's got a man. That's Allen. It'll be a Patriot first down on a pickup of 16. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense and reading your keys. You always hear about that and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. Back now in Foxborough. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. They go play action here on first down. And he fires to Edelman, complete on the comebacker. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. That goes for a gain of 31. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 38. Throwing on first down is Brady. Oh, he can't get away, and Brady will go down. Avery Williamson, he's the one to get him, and that's sack number seven for him on the year. And there they bring pressure from the inside, and they get home. Yeah, hard go, to block go. everyone, isn't it? And on this play, <laughs> someone did not get blocked. He's the one who got home. And they're going to take it all the way down and just take the delay. Delay of game, offense. So that one will be accepted. Still second down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Wide open, it's Allen complete. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20-yard line. That goes for a gain of 31. Play clock is going to run out here. They're in no hurry to get a playoff. Delay of game, offense. So a penalty that can frustrate a coach so much, a mental error, Still first and it'll down. back him up five yards. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game. First and 15. I got you. I got you. We 20. We 20. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. So they took a shot on first down but couldn't connect fourth quarter you've got the big lead if you're coaching Charles you, you still taking shots like that downfield I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around you throw a couple of picks you can put yourself in jeopardy so they'll come up after the incompletion for second down hey. Hey, we, uh, 
On second down, here's Brady. And he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. And Goskowski's kick is good. And that stretches this lead even further. It's now 24 to nothing. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? Goskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. It's a short kick, taken near the 18. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. And New York set to take the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. And some room to roam now. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Time for a break. This one all over but the shouting. We'll finish it after this. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. On second down, here's McCown. And he will find his man on the outside. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. To throw is McCown. But Newton's got it, complete. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down. McCown throwing on second. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden the secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Throwing his McCown on third down. And this is going to be incomplete. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. Here's Lachlan Edwards now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Oh, he'll field it in the end zone. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Pats will take over at their own 20. The Patriot offense heading back out as we take a look at the playoff picture in the AFC. And you can see it's no race for the top spot. That's been decided. These guys will hope to get through Week 17 in one piece before they host a division round game in two weeks' time. And I think that what they'll do is they'll be very selective about who plays in this game, all right? There's certain guys that maybe are starters, but maybe haven't played as much as other guys during the year. Maybe they still need their timing back. Other guys, you're going to put in bubble wrap and put them on the sidelines <laughs> and tell them we'll see you in two weeks. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Brady going to look to throw. 
He's going to fire one deep over. Oh, well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A gain of 32 that time. Well, go ahead and throw the ball, man. You've got the big lead. you got the clock on your side. Obviously, they don't care much about the feelings of the other team, do they? Well, I was going to say, you better run to the locker room pretty quick after this one. But right now, maybe they're just looking at it from the fantasy perspective. More points for everyone. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Uh oh Tom Brady still down on the ground. And in Week 17, let's hope this won't affect him for the playoffs. We'll step aside. And the job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. And now the first throw for the backup quarterback. He's going to air it out deep for Hogan. That's caught inside the 20. A big play there for New England. 47 yards. And they just had another big completion there. And I think in days gone by in the NFL, you might have asked, is this a little bit of overkill? Is this rubbing it in? I don't think people feel the same way nowadays. It's the age-old argument. Then you could say on the other side, if you're going to get angry about it, stop it, right? Go ahead and stop me. And I think a lot of the times they just look at it like, let's just play the game. And however it turns out, it turns out. Still throwing to the very end, but now this game is over. And the storyline of this one, Charles, no doubt the number zero. Zilch, nada. A shutout so hard to do in the NFL. It really is, and what an accomplishment because you feel that not just on the defensive side, but as a full team. There's a lot of pride that goes into shutting out an opponent. And how about that zero on the scoreboard for them going along with those zeros in the time column, too?